Hi friends, welcome back once again and let's discuss the next problem on static timing analysis. This is problem number 16th on static timing analysis. So friends here we are given a circuit diagram and we are asked to find out the value of delay 3. The value of this delay says that there is no setup and hold violation. Also we are asked to find the maximum operating clock frequency of the circuit maximum operating clock frequency that means minimum clock period and we are given clock to queue delay of both the flip flop is 2 nanosecond and setup and hold time for both the flip flop is 2.2 nanosecond basically we are asked to, to find out two things one is what is the value of delay 3 and second is what is the minimum clock period of the clock signal so now to find out the delay 3 value we know that we have two timing equations which is setup one is setup equation and second is hold timing equation so let's write the setup equation so the setup equation is nothing but t minus t setup so here if you see guys there is one delay 2 in between the capture clock and launch clock so basically there is skew one nanosecond skew is given here and the other thing is there is delay 1. So this delay 1 is basically coming in the launch path. So when this clock signal is getting applied, this clock signal is basically getting applied to the launch flip flop after 1 nanosecond and it is getting applied to the capture flip flop after 1 nanosecond. So basically there is a 1 nanosecond delay. Let's Consider the positive clock skew. So there is one nanosecond delay in getting the clock signal by launch flip flop and capture flip flop. So while writing the setup equations, we have to consider the delay 2 in the required time term of the timing equation. So the required time term is nothing but this one. So here we have T minus T setup plus T skew, which is nothing but delay 2. So as per our setup requirement, this value should be greater than or equal to clock to queue delay. But before clock to queue delay, there is one another delay in the launch path, which is one nanosecond delay or nothing but delay one. So delay one plus T clock to queue delay plus delay three. So friends, if you see in this equation, we do not have this time period value and then we do not have the value of delay 3. So basically there are two unknown variables. So we cannot find out the value of delay 3 using the setup equation. Now let's see the hold equation. So the hold equation is nothing but T hold of capture flip flop plus clock skew which is nothing but delay 2. This should be less than or equal to the launch path delay which is nothing but delay 1 plus t clock to q and plus delay 3. So if you see here we have all the parameter values except delay 3. So if we put the value of t hold which is nothing but 2.2 nanosecond plus delay 2 which is nothing but 1 nanosecond less should be less than or equal to delay 1 which is 1 nanosecond plus t clock to q delay of what the flip flop is given as 2 nanosecond plus delay 3. So friend if you rearrange this, this equation delay 3 should be greater than or equal to 3.2 minus 3 or delay 3 should be greater than or equal to 0 0.2 nanosecond. So the minimum value of delay 3 should be 0 0.2 nanosecond in order to have no hold timing violation. Okay, now let's see the another part of the equation which is find the maximum operating clock frequency. So if you see in equation number 1 here, we had two unknown values which is t and delay 3 by using the hold equations now we were able to find the delay 3 values now let's put the delay 3 values in equation number 1 
or which is nothing but set of equation so if we put in equation num this value in equation number one our t minus t setup t setup is nothing but 2.2 .2 nanosecond plus delay 2 delay 2 value is nothing but 1 nanosecond should be greater than or equal to delay 1 which is 1 nanosecond plus t clock to q delay 2 nanosecond plus 0 0.2 which is delay 3 value or our t should be greater than or equal to 3.2 plus 2.2 minus 1 or our t should be greater than or equal to 5.4 minus 1 or t should be greater than or equal to 4.4 nanosecond so if this is the our so our minimum time period in order to have the no hold no set of violations and also we do not have any hold violation so in this particular case our minimum time period is 4.4 nanosecond and what will be our maximum clock frequency that will be 1 upon t minimum that will be 1 upon 4.4 nanosecond and which will be equal to 227.4 around 227.4 megahertz so friends i hope this question is clear if you have any doubts please write down in the comment section also if you liked this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you won't get missed any such next videos thank you very much